Welcome my friends to another Patho video. Today let's talk about the transmission of E. coli 0157H7. Enterohemorrhagic refers to the bacteria's ability to damage the intestine and cause bloody diarrhea. 0157H7 refers to the strain of E. coli that is especially virulent. Where is E. coli 0157H7? It is mainly found in the feces of healthy beef and dairy cattle, but pigs, poultry, and sheep also carry the bacteria. Contaminated feces from animals can also be transferred to vegetables and fruits. Most often an infection occurs after eating meat that has been contaminated with feces containing the bacteria. This is why it is so important to thoroughly cook hamburger. Since hamburger is ground up, some of the meat that was on the outside and got contaminated with bacteria ends up being on the inside. Steaks are not ground up, so if you cook the outside where the bacteria are, it's okay that the inside is a little rare. The first outbreak occurred in 1982 at some fast food restaurants that were serving contaminated hamburger. Many have happened since then, Probably the most well-known was the outbreak in 1993 that involved 73 jack-in-the-box restaurants in Idaho, Washington, Nevada, and California. 732 people were infected and 171 were hospitalized and many of these experienced lasting serious kidney problems. Four children ended up dying from their infection. This outbreak led to several regulatory agencies to make changes in laws regarding the preparation and cooking of hamburger. But despite improvements, there continue to be outbreaks of E. coli 0157H7. If E. coli 0157H7, contaminated animal waste, comes into contact with fruits or vegetables, it may then be transmitted to humans. In one case, several deer got into a strawberry patch and their waste contaminated the strawberries. People then ate the berries and were infected. Other than contaminated hamburger, outbreaks have occurred from contaminated strawberries as just mentioned, also unpasteurized milk and cheese, chicken, fruit juice, sprouts, spinach, lettuce, and tomatoes, among others. In 2016, General Mills recalled more than 10 million pounds of flour due to a multi-state outbreak. And in 2017, an outbreak due to soy nut butter occurred. So we see that an infection can occur from a wide spectrum of different foods. Waterborne outbreaks also occur. E. coli can survive for long periods of time in water, especially at lower temperatures. Transmission may be from drinking contaminated water in lakes or streams, or ingestion from swimming in contaminated water. Since the dose needed to cause an infection is quite small, not very much water needs to be ingested to establish an infection. Person-to-person -person contact has been reported in nursing homes, daycare centers, and remember the infectious dose is low. Studies have estimated that the infectious dose is only between 10 and 100 CFU or colony forming units. This concludes the video on transmission of E. coli 0157H7. Thanks for watching.